Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to zoom into a specific picture in your slide. I'll show you two examples. One example using the zoom feature that's already available when you're in presentation mode, and the other one using animation feature in PowerPoint which you can set up. So this is the first example where we can zoom in to a portion of the picture when we're in presentation mode. So if we're in presentation mode, what you can do is you can hover over to uh, the bottom left here and you notice a few icons show up and the zoom feature in this particular mode is this magnifying glass. Once we click on it you'll notice that you have an area where you can select your portion of the slide where you want to zoom in. So after I kind of maybe want to select this area all I need to do is click my left mouse button and the area will zoom in and so you can zoom in that way now the other way to zoom in, let me go ahead and press escape to get out of this mode. The other way we can do it is if I go into my next slide, I'll just press the space bar to go into my next slide. In example two here is I set up an animation where when I click anywhere in the slide, like as if you're advancing forward, it's going to create an animation where it's going to select that person. And I've selected that particular portion of the image to highlight and zoom into. So I'll show you how to set the configuration up for example two. So let's get out of slideshow mode. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just make a copy of example one here. Go up to here, press control D to make a duplicate of that. Let me put this down here and I'll just call this one example three. So what I want to do is I want to take a kind of a snapshot of that watch in a smaller version. So I'm going to take this picture and put it into a circular type of frame. Click format. I'm going to crop it and crop to shape. I'm going to select this oval shape and you'll notice that it's not a circle but what we can do is we can change this into a circle by going under crop again, going to aspect ratios and make it a square. So this is kind of a one-to-one -one aspect ratio which is a circle. So once I click on that we have our circle now. What I want to do is make that circle a little bit smaller to kind of fit this particular size here. You don't have to worry about moving the picture into the center yet. What we want to do is make sure that this circle fits the size that we want. So what I need to do is press the shift key and hold on to any one of these four corners to make it into a size that I want. Maybe this size is good enough. And now I'm going to move my particular picture down here into the center. And once that's done, I'll click on crop again, and it's going to crop that picture. So now you notice that that picture, the size is 1.98 to 1.98. Let me move this up a little bit. What I want to do now is let me make a border around this particular circle that is also that same size. So I'm going to click outside and go click insert and click on shapes and click this oval shape here and I want to go ahead and draw a circle. I'm going to press the shift key so it's not going to draw an oval even though it's using the oval shape. It's going to constrain my circle to or my oval into a one-to-one -one aspect ratio which is a circle. I can just draw what I can think is going to approximate this size. I can change it later to make it exactly the same. You'll notice that now my height and width shows up here. I can just go I can just type 1.98 which was the setting I had earlier and type 1.98 for the width, press enter, and now it's the same as this. I want to make sure that uh, the shape fill is transparent or it doesn't have any fill, so I'm going to click on the shape fill here and click no fill, and I want to make this particular border a little thicker and a different color, so I will select black and then maybe make the weight four and a half. I can drag this in, I can drag this in here, in here right now, I can overlay it on the circle image here of the watch. Now I've got my two settings here. What I can do now is I can take this, let me select, let me click, put my mouse out here and select this area. It's going to select both the circle image and also the circle that I drew. Control C to copy. Let me just use example one as my template now to create a new zoom in feature and I'm going to press control V to paste. 
Now it's right above this watch. What I want to do is I want to hover over it to make sure it's just right above it. So it's going to take a little bit of move movement to do that. And then make sure that uh, it kind of matches the alignment here. So let me move it over here a little bit. Uh, that should be okay. Let me click outside and see if that works out. That's not that bad. Let me zoom in a little bit to see if it looks okay. Let me scroll up here. And that's not bad. So what I want to do now is I want to set some animation. Let me zoom back out. I'm going to click on uh, fit the slide to current window so it zooms back out. So what I want to do is I want to set some animation up for my two objects. Select my object click on animations and what I want is to add an animation. Click on that, it's going to give me a couple and the first one I want to do is grow and shrink. Right? I want to make it grow so it's growing right now. You notice that it only selected that one image. Let me press Control Z to undo and that's because when I selected the image it was only that image to grow and shrink. It didn't select the border around it so I'm going to go out here and select it. So I'm, I'll draw the cursor out here and it's going to select both images now. So go back to add animation, go to grow and shrink, and let's see if that works. Now it's set it up correctly. So that's going to be my first animation. Let me click my animation pane right here so it brings up that pane so it shows me how the steps occur in order. Now earlier when I did the, uh, the animation here when I was in presentation view, you noticed that it kind of drew out that circle. And I want to draw that circle too. So I'm going to click on that circle and you'll notice that when I clicked on there, it selected that oval, not the picture. If I, if I clicked on the picture here, it's going to select the picture. If I click on oval here, it's going to select, oops, it didn't select the oval, but let me select the oval here. Let's see if it selected that. If I click in the center here, it's going to select the picture. So you have to be kind of careful where you select. Let me go and pick on the oval again. We've selected the oval and I want to add an animation. I don't want to go over here to uh, click on the drop down and make another animation because if I select on one of those it's basically going to overwrite these two. What I want is to add an animation. So I'm going to click on here and click the animation which is a wheel. So it's, it's, like, a, it's like a clock an analog clock and it just goes from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock again. So if I click on that, you'll notice that this is what it does. It, it kind of wipes it around. And I want to have that to occur first. You notice that these particular animations occur in the order. So I want to have that wipe occur first. I'll click on the up arrow here to select that and it will occur first. So let me click, click play. Alright, and so it circles around and now it enlarges. That might be a little bit too big. There's a couple ways that you can set that up. Right now it's probably defaulted to 150 percent bigger. So I'm going to select these two particular uh, animation images or these two images where I'm going to research the size for the animation. So I'm going to press select shift and select these two. So you, they're both selected. Right click and then select effect options. With effect options you can see that the size is 150 percent. Maybe I don't want it that big. Maybe I want it custom and I want it 125 percent. And then click OK. Click on play. Oops, let me let me play it all, not just select it. Let me uh, out, uh, click outside and click play all. And now you notice that the circle is drawn and now the particular setting. Let me see, that really didn't work out too well. Let me click on it again and see if it took it. Right, shift click right click effect options and oh it didn't take let me try again customs 125 percent let's see nope it didn't take custom 125 percent press enter let's see if it took yeah now it took uh, I want to do it both I, I don't know why I clicked horizontal I want to do both and 125 click OK and it plays. Let me go into slideshow, into presentation mode, or slideshow mode. And uh, whoops, there's one more thing I want to do. Let me get out of here. What I want to do is make sure that my timing is correct. So the first one should be on click. 
I want my second animation to follow afterwards without clicking again with the mouse key. So this is going to be after previous and this is going to be following it. So you see that there's a click here and then this timeline here shows that it's going to occur after that particular animation. Let me go into slideshow mode and now I'm going to write, I'm going to mouse click, my circle is drawn and then now it's going to zoom. So that is the second way that we can create a zoom effect. You can see there's the first way we can do is we can use our particular uh, commands here. I, I have in a different mode of my slideshow now, so that's why it's not showing. But in this particular mode where it's putting it into one window, uh, those commands don't show up. So if I wanted to put it into another mode, I have another mode here um, where I can have a menu and I can zoom in. So I can also zoom in this way. You can see I can zoom in again and that zooms in. So that was the first way that I showed you how to do that. Let me press escape to get out of that. And the second way is of course to add animation to zoom into certain parts of the picture. So it just depends which way you want to do it. Do you, do you want to, don't want to fuss with creating animations. You can use the animation uh, commands in the slideshow view or if you like to do some animation go ahead and try the animation features that are available for your picture. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.